audience exactly what they want. Okay, giving your audience exactly what they want. That's the most important thing. Um, so, you know, a concept that, that I drill into anybody's head, whether they're a prospect, client, whatever, I am constantly drilling that you have to build an audience in order to have a full pipeline enough to make money every single day or build your business or, or make sales or enroll people on your team. Daz, thanks for sharing. Anybody else that shared, let me know. Um, thanks for sharing as well. Um, there's some people on here now. So um, if you're new, comment the word new uh, in the comment section and make sure if you want to get notified when I go live, you press the get notified section in the comments. And if you want to save this video and come back later, uh, make sure you can press the little button up in the top right in the screen and you can actually save the video and come back for later okay so um so this is a thing that i, I kind of it, it really hit me the other day and um you know i was on this coaching call and you know this guy uh one of our clients he says dude i really want to grow my network marketing company and you know obviously you know papa number one if you're in network marketing and you want to grow your network marketing business right I mean, Papa number one, I'll go ahead and say number one, Candace, what's up? Thanks for sharing, Junie, I appreciate it. So I'll say number one, right? It's like, hey, I want to grow my network marketing business, right? We all want to grow our network marketing business. Um, but what happens is, you know, a lot of times, depending on the audience that we're growing, you know, we should always, every day, you should be growing your Facebook audience. Every day, you should be looking to grow the subscribers that are on your blog or your YouTube channel or Instagram or uh, your fan page or your groups. You should be looking for uh, your email list. You should be looking for areas that you're growing your audience. And as you engage with your audience, as you engage with your audience um, and you're in your, when I say engage, you're understanding what your audience's problem is, right? You got to give your audience what they want. So in this particular situation, so you kind of know the whole backstory. He says, Ryan, dude, I want to grow my network marketing company. I want to make, you know, a few more sales than I made last month. And I said, great, cool, man, we'll do that. Uh, but he's saying, I make sales almost every day, but they're not the sales I want to make. Okay. Now, Let's take it. Let's take it a step back, just really quick. I want you guys to bear with me because I, I think this can really impact you, and I really think it can help you out. So, he's saying, "Hey, Ryan, I'm making sales, but I'm not making the sales that I want to make." And th it, I've been there before, and it's it's a it's almost a selfish place to be because it one it kind of puts you in this place where not saying he's not grateful because I know he's an he's an amazing client. He's an absolutely I um, mean, the dude is just full of gratitude, okay? But sometimes it can put you in this feeling of like a little less grateful than you know you really are, okay? Pop a number two in the comment section if you're kind of following me with that. And also, um, this is one of those deals where if you're, if you're digging it and if you're following me, uh, make sure you're letting me know with the, uh, with the blue button, the little like button at the bottom, because I need to know if you guys are really following me on this one, okay? So what I find is a lot of network marketers out there, they're not giving their audience exactly what that audience needs, okay? So let's just say you have an affiliate offer, you have like maybe some courses that you're an affiliate of, maybe you're an affiliate of some type of coaching program, and you know, this is just an example. And I'm just gonna use this example because I don't wanna you know, try to like uh, beat, you know, beat around the bush or anything. What I found is I became an affiliate of My Lead System Pro three years ago, okay? And I, I remember showing it to leaders and showing it to certain people, and they were saying, hey, I want to grow my network marketing business, but I don't, want to, I don't want to make money in MLSP. I don't want to make money in everything else. I don't want to grow that, right? I don't want to do that. And the thing that happens is you get so streamlined on what you want that you actually, it's almost selfish because you're not giving your audience what they want. And what I found is, okay, well, if, if, 
I attract network marketers to me and 97% of them are struggling in their business. They're, they're confused. They, they don't know how to make things simple. Things are kind of like, you know, all over the place. They don't know what to do. They're, they're looking for the right training. Their leadership is garbage. They, some of them don't even like their products. You have all these things that are problems and issues that need to be solved within the industry. And, but, I'm, but I'm just worried about, well, do you want to join my network marketing business, right? So the thing that I think people are missing, and it, and it can keep you broke, and it can, also, it, can, um, it can also keep you from making the maximum amount of money that you could be making. You know, I meet people that are making you know, $10,000 a month in their network marketing company. Well, you could be bringing in $20,000 a month total if you would actually just provide people with what they want. Okay, so even even then, it's like it, what, let's just say we're not talking to somebody that's in network marketing. Okay, what if it's just a regular civilian out there? Well, I'm telling you, if your if your mission, if your intention is that you just have to enroll somebody in your network marketing business, it, you you put on this flawed like set of glasses, and that can that can halt you. From, from making money and making a difference, and it keeps, it keeps you from actually helping people, okay? Now, again, um, pop a number three if you're following me with this, okay? Because the point that I'm trying to make here is don't get selfish with what you want, okay? Don't get selfish with what you want just because you want to rank up in your network marketing business. Just because you want to make money in certain things, understand that it's not about you, it's about your audience, okay? So if so, let's just say the only offer you have is your network marketing business, product, opportunity, whatever, okay? But if your audience is telling you that they have a particular problem and that problem keeps coming up, it keeps just coming up, right? It's, it's your job to make sure that either your network marketing business can solve that problem or it's your job as an entrepreneur to go out there and create something that can help them solve that problem or find something that you can be an affiliate of and get and so you don't have to create it and get it in front of that person. Man, I man, I sat on this for hours and I was like, wow, like I don't know, I don't even know if I'm saying it right, honestly. I don't even know if I'm saying it right that 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 the light bulb is go that could, that I can make the light bulb go off in your head, okay? I, I don't I don't even know. That's why I'm asking to really let me know if you are understanding this, okay? So if you're one of those people that you know, at the end of the day, I, I want you to know the important thing is not like just you know enrolling people into your network marketing company. It's not just you know having some affiliate program that you just want to like you know bring people to so you can make some money, okay? I really want you to understand that it's about solving someone's problem. And it's up to you. You either paint the picture that your network marketing business can solve that problem. You know, I have people come to me all the time. Hey, Ryan, you know, dude, you sell courses, man. I love that course you made on XYZ. Yo, I want to do courses. And then someone says, hey, man, I've got this course on you know, blankety blank, right? I've got this course on XYZ and what they haven't done is they haven't gotten the information or, or the data from their audience that says, hey, we want this. You know, it, you don't just go out and create courses and say, okay, I'm going to sell it. You, you look at a problem and you look at what your audience is saying they want and then you go out and make a course and solve the problem. I mean, I mean, I'm just telling you, this is the stuff that can make a huge difference in your revenue. Because if maybe your goal is to make a lot of money, but I know that there's a ton of people out there that, yeah, you want to make a lot of money, but your selfishness, because you just want to make the money in your MLM, your selfishness is keeping you from the revenue that you actually want to make. Here's the, I'm just going to cut it to you straight. Our goal is to make $50,000 a month. So do I really give a shit? Whether, whether that $50,000 a month comes from my network marketing business, it comes from our coaching business, it may come from affiliate products, hell, it could come from winning the damn lottery. I don't care. If that's our goal to make $50,000 a month, a lot of us are miscommunicating with the universe because we're saying, uh, you, know, you know, we get sent some option, we get sent some type of, you know, 
uh, you know, rowboat or safety net. And then we say, no, I don't want to make money that way. You know what I mean? It's like, no, but I want to, no, 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 Ryan. No, I don't want to make money that way. I want to make money this way because that's what I want. And we're not focused on, on the customer. We're not focused on the, the audience that we should be building every single day and adding to and engaging with every day to figure out what their problems are. So if your audience has a problem and you have a network marketing business, you may have some affiliate stuff, but at the end of the day, it doesn't solve the problem. Your job, your duty, because you, that person is in your audience, your job is to solve that problem. And if you do not solve that problem, you are failing your audience. I don't care if your audience is 10 people or 10,000. Stop being selfish and just saying, hey, well, you know what? You got to join this network marketing business. You got to join this affiliate deal. You got to do this. You got solve the freaking problem. Now, if you're feeling this, if you're feeling this, because I, I appreciate it, Look, I appreciate the love. Uh, if you have not shared this message, I'm going to ask you right now to press the share button and go ahead and invite some people to this Wednesday night talk that we're having. Okay? I appreciate it, Rachel. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Because I did, I did wonder whether or not I would share this message. I wondered how I would share this message. Uh, I wondered if this message would really resonate. Thank you for sharing, Rachel. I appreciate it. I wondered, man, is this really going to resonate with people? Okay? So my thing is for all the people out there, for all the leaders, for all the people that, that may be wondering whether or not you should add something to your repertoire. Maybe you're thinking about going out there and, and making a course. Maybe you're thinking about, um, you know, maybe even adding another network marketing company to what you do. Before you do that, just ask yourself, does this allow me to make my audience's life easier? And I tell you guys, you're going to make better decisions. You know, a lot of you people out there, I know so many people, but hey, dude, hey, man, does, uh, let me ask you something, Ryan. Let me ask you something, bro. Does my lead system pro work? Does it work? I mean, does it work? And then I'm like, well, I don't know. I don't know. Have you been watching me for the last three years grow into this person that I never thought I would ever become? I don't even answer. I don't even answer. They want some people want you to dance sometimes. And guess what? I only dance to my music. I don't dance to yours. You feel me? But if you ever wonder whether you should join a network marketing business, whether you should go out there and, and take that leap of of maybe, you know, uh, being an affiliate somewhere, being, you know, putting a adding some tools to your repertoire, whatever it is, ask yourself. Does this make my life easier and can it make my audience's life easier? Right. <laughs> now, 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 now. I figured it was a charity kind of thing. You know, take my money. Take my money. You know what? I actually, I looked on top of my refrigerator. Weird thing, right? I'm only 5'8". Um, I happened to just look on top of my refrigerator I found an extra $150. I said, you know what? Let me just pay these people $150 a month, um, you know, rooftop refrigerator money. That's what I thought. And I said, you know what? Not, not only will I give them rooftop refrigerator money, but I'm going to do it every single month just because I got it like that. So... Take my charity money, please. I don't get any value from this at all, but I figured, hell, why not? I'd stay around for three years. <laughs> come on, come on. But this isn't even about that. This isn't even about it. Let me get, let me get back on topic here. Let me get back on topic. Um, I, uh, <laughs> yeah, gotta love that rooftop refrigerator money. Um, so the point of this, guys, the point of this is to, uh, and, I, and I know it's tough sometimes, I get there all the time too, 
You got it. You got to really understand your audience. And if you don't know, go out there, engage with them, say hi, ask them to reply back in an email, get them on the phone, get them on a Zoom call, and ask them what their problems are. And if you can't solve that problem, or if or if you just can't create the vision enough that you, whatever you have in your toolbox can solve that problem, then it may be time to go out there and look for some more things to add to the toolbox, or it may be time to go get yourself a new damn toolbox. I don't know. Now, if, if you are in one of those places where maybe this talk got you thinking and you need some help with something, feel free to reach out. I'd love to help you. We, 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 our job is to make things easier. You know, if it's if it's one thing, you know, it's really funny. You know, I was on our on our hot seat last night. I talked about um, unique selling propositions and um, you know, really what sets you apart. So um, I'll share I'll share something with you guys. Kind of a a switch of gears here. I'll share something with you guys that uh, and let me know. Let me know if you want to hear it. I don't even know. See, I'm asking you guys if you want to hear it. So pop a number a number four in the comment section if you want to hear what one of the bigger takeaways that we shared from our uh, group coaching hot seat last night. So uh, if you're unfamiliar, uh, every t uh, on the last Tuesday of the month, so on the last Tuesday of every month, we do a hot seat. Okay, we um, we take two people from our group coaching program. And what we do is we completely break down their business. We completely break down their business. And we evaluate their business. Linda was on there last night. Linda, did you get some value? Let them know. Was the hot seat hot? Was it worth, was it worth the, was that one, was that one webinar worth the entire investment for the entire month? Let us know. Let us know. I like to put our members on the spot. Not not just, you know, hey, was it was it worth the entire month? No. Was that one webinar worth the price of the entire month? Let us know. Let me know. And be honest. I don't want you just saying like, yeah, it was worth it just because, you know, I'm on the spot. Okay. Okay, cool. So Linda is a very honest person, so she wouldn't lie to you. <laughs> For those of you that may be thinking of joining our group coaching program, um, Linda will not lie. Okay, but here's the deal. Here's the deal. I'll share what you. I'll share what we took there. Um, so I asked the guy last night. I said, "Dude, what's your unique selling proposition?" If someone came up to you today and said, "Hey, man, why should I? What 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 makes you different from anybody else that's saying, hey, I help home business owners um, make their, you know, I help home business owners get leads and sales and all that crap, right?" I mean, you see that stuff every single day. So I want you to ask yourself, I want you to ask yourself, what's your unique selling proposition? Ask yourself, if someone asked you, hey, what makes you different from the health and wellness person that does whatever you say you do? What makes you different? Why should I buy from you? And honestly, I used to get offended by that question. I used to go, well, duh, you should buy from me because I'm Ryan. Duh. <laughs> Come on, bro. Uh, it's not, that's, that's selfish. And I really started digging deep and I said, wow, like, you know, that's not really, if they don't know why they should buy and I can't tell them why they should buy, why the hell should they buy? Okay, I'm just being real, okay? If, if they come to me and don't know why they should buy, one, I need to up my marketing, okay? My message, need, my marketing message needs to get better. If you come to me and, they, and you say, Hey Ryan, uh, I mean, what what makes you what makes you better than uh, somebody else who's doing this? Hey, well, obviously my marketing, ten percent. We're at ten percent. We're at ten percent. We got the message for ten percent. All right, here we go. We got enough time. Now I I got I need to up my marketing, okay? And then two, if I can't answer that question for myself, then I need to really have a look in the mirror and say what sets me apart. So then I, this morning I said, man, what sets us apart? And it was weird. You know what? I didn't have to come up with our USP, our unique selling proposition, because our clients came up with it for us. We make it, we make, we make this stuff easy for people. We make it easy for people. That's what we do. Someone, someone says, well, what do you do? We just make online marketing easy for network marketers. That's what we do. And 
Sometimes you need to dig deep inside of your, your network and find out why people bought from you. You find out why people connected to you because they'll tell you what your unique selling proposition is. Now, um, shame on me. Shame on me. I, um, I got to go. Okay, I got to go. I had my 7 o'clock and uh, I didn't get notified, so my bad, bro. My bad. He just hit me up. He's like, yo, Ryan, we still on? So um, <laughs> my bad. It's been a long day, bro. It's been a long day. So we got to get it. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rock out of here, guys. Uh, if you need anything from me, obviously, feel free to hit me up. Ooh, 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 ooh. Um, got a few spots left for this upcoming Build a Badass Brand workshop. So if you aren't registered, we take 30 people for this new upcoming workshop, okay? Uh, so if you're not registered yet for the Build a Badass Brand,